Hello, my name is Epi, and welcome back to the Space Exploration Agency. We are back with the Supply Mark 5 spacecraft that will enter an orbit around the moon in about 26 minutes and 50 seconds. This is another supply mission to the fuel delivery spacecraft that will refuel the moon base lander, which is needed in order to land the moon mining facility rover on the surface of the moon. But first, this rover needs to be equipped with a small holding tank, which is currently attached to the moon ore transporter. In this case, this episode will feature a lot of rendezvous and docking maneuvers and in general this episode is in the theme of an orbital ballet because we have so much work ahead of us. And yeah, let's start with the orbit insertion burn of the Supply Mark V spacecraft. Okay. Now we are in the shadow of the moon. I think I will start this burn around 15 yeah 15 seconds before we will reach the maneuver node orbital sunrise very beautiful all right one minute and easy so let's aim for the marker on the nav ball very nice okay so and here we go this Supply Mark V spacecraft, in contrast to the two other Supply Mark V spacecraft, is a one-way spacecraft, basically. Once it arrived at the fuel delivery spacecraft and has transferred all of the fuel into the tanks of the fuel delivery spacecraft, it will be discarded because, yeah, I already have two other Supply Mark V spacecraft in space and I don't need a third one. In this case here, I think it's more efficient to just transfer all the fuel into the fuel delivery spacecraft and then to discard uh, the spacecraft instead of keeping some fuel in it in order to fly it out to the Minma space station where it can be refueled. And here, yeah, alright, now I need to see where is the, the fuel delivery spacecraft is over here. And we are here, so I think it will catch up with us pretty soon. Let's see, where do I need to perform the burn to? Yes, there we are already pretty close, but we are still a bit ahead. Oh yes, this would be fantastic when we can have the rendezvous in in the in the sunlight, 1.8 kilometers. That's pretty good. Can I get this even closer? 500 meters. All right, that's awesome. Coming up in 25 minutes. Um, how how much time do you need to to get to your? Okay, I think we need to switch over to the immune ore transporter for a brief moment. Okay, I have 25 minutes until I need to execute uh, this burn. One hour and eight minutes. All right. Now that's plenty of time here. This is the Mu and Ore Transporter. Up here is the small holding tank. Oh, we have a beautiful view over to Kerbin. Up here is uh, the small holding tank for the Moon Mining Facility rover. And yeah, the purpose of this spacecraft is just to transport the ore we mine on the surface of the moon into an orbit around the moon. And um, yeah, there it will be transferred into a different spacecraft or so. I haven't really thought about what I will do with the ore once it is in an orbit around the moon. But yeah, I think the, the main difficulty is to get uh, the ore from the surface of the moon into an orbit. And um, okay, this upper stage is empty pretty soon. That's bad. But uh, yeah, all right. We have plenty of time or we have enough time. Not the fuel delivery spacecraft, but the moon base rover lander. No, this is... Oh, this spacecraft has to return to the fuel delivery spacecraft at some point as well. Oh wow, so much work, so much work is ahead of us. Um, let's switch back to the Supply Mark V spacecraft. 23 minutes. Oh dear. I totally forgot about uh, the the moon base lander that this thing is 
not docked to the fuel delivery spacecraft and still needs to return to it. Oh dear, I... Okay, I need to do this as well at some point. All right, 10 minutes, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Easy. Very easy. All right, let's, let's stop it here. Curb and rise. The first time, well, not the, not the first time. We, we saw curb and rise plenty of times. But here, curb and rise or earth rise and Christmas. All right, easy. Good. And stop. Yeah, earth rise and Christmas are for some reason pretty much linked together. If you go back into the history of space flight. So um, 400 meters, that's awesome. And this is coming up in 20 minutes. So yes, we can do the rendezvous before I need to execute uh, this maneuver. That's good. The moon base rover lander is over here. Okay, this will still need some... Wait, are you in a lower orbit than the... Oh, you're in a lower orbit, dang it. Okay, then I need a lot of orbits until the thing has, or I need to raise its orbit. Hmm. How will I do this? Well, I'm not quite sure. We have we have other spacecraft to rendezvous first, so uh, wait. I need my I need my marker over here. So let's let's do this first. Wow, this this is a marvelous view. I like this. This is, this is perfect. So fantastic. We can even spot the, the huge crater on, on Kerbal. That's amazing. Wow. This is, this is so cool. Sometimes I just like to to lean back and ooh, we are we we need to we need to reduce our, our speed, our relative velocity. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Easy, easy, good. And let's start, let's start to reduce our relative velocity. Very good. Okay. Now, let's let's start to fly towards the spacecraft. All right. Good. Now. Now we are flying straight towards it. Oh, this is good. Okay. Yeah, I completely forgot about the fact that the that the uh, moon base lander is still on its own. But well, over time, I think I will find a solution. Maybe I will just raise its orbit so that the fuel delivery spacecraft will catch up with it. Okay, let's let's slow down here and come to some kind of do some station keeping. This would be nice. Okay, get a little bit closer. All right, let's let's stop it here. Stop. Nice. Okay. We can switch to docking mode. And rotate this thing around. Right. Good. Okay, in what way do I like to rotate? Alright, this, this, this is good. Now I just need to turn a bit this way. Very nice. Okay. Maybe like this. My target docking port is... Come on, this one down here. Can I... Why can't I select the docking port? Uh... Okay, now. Set as target. Nice. So let's make sure that you are not colliding with 
the fuel delivery spacecraft, but yeah, I think you will miss it. This is good. It's looking very good. All right. This is cool. For some reason, I'm really amazed. Maybe it's it's just because we are actually doing a rendezvous maneuver and a docking maneuver in the daylight and in beautiful sunshine, and not just with with the few lights of the spacecraft or so in the darkness. Because once again, I was just unlucky with the with the timing that okay, we are once again in the shadow of the moon or so. so I'm happy, and also it's so fantastic seeing this the moon being so close to the moon. This is. I don't know why, but I'm I'm right now I'm super happy and this is little fantastic. Okay, soon we can come to a stop and to do the final approach. Maybe now. Alright, let's come to a stop. Very good. So let's turn you towards the docking port. Very good. Awesome. All right. We're almost there. And how much RC, uh, monopropellant do we have left? Enough monopropellant. I think this should be enough monopropellant to deorbit this spacecraft using RCS only. Because I like to transfer all the, the fuel into the fuel delivery spacecraft. All right, we are docked. This is good. So before I forget about this, we, okay, you are out there. You still have some time. This is good. This means we can, we can finish this operation. We can now in and in transfer all the fuel into the fuel delivery spacecraft. Nice. And now this fuel as well. Wow, that's that's quite a lot of fuel. This one unfortunately is empty. Yeah, this spacecraft is is empty. Okay, so yeah, I transferred all the fuel. I have some monopropellant left, which is good. So okay, now we can say undock. SAS on, RCS on. Let's let's drift away. Good. Let's make sure that this spacecraft, yes, SAS is still running, very nice. Okay. You can, or oh, you are still in docking mode. You can now turn retrograde. All right, RCS on and, okay, I hope I have enough RCS to finish this, this task. Um, wait. I think I need to... Oh yes, I have enough RCS. Uh, Monopropellant to, to finish this task. This is good. Alright, it's not uh, that much of data we needed in order to do this. Alright, so... Ooh, this, this is a beautiful view. That's a marvelous view. I like this. Alright, goodbye, goodbye. Supply Mark 5 spacecraft and now... Hello... Immune or transporter. Let's switch to you. Okay, uh, 15 minutes and then your periapsis will be 23 kilometers. I like to rendezvous right away with, oh, well not right away, but I like to rendezvous the Mune mining facility rover and the spacecraft first before I will fly the rover over to the fuel delivery space, uh, fuel supply space. Oh man, I have too many names. Um, because the, the immune ore transporter doesn't need to rendezvous with the fuel delivery spacecraft. So 23 kilometers could be good. Yes. Yes. I'm happy with this. All right. 50 minutes to go. Um, yeah, I think I will start with a burn once again, about 15 seconds before I reach the node. Let's just make sure, um, well, I think I have only one probe core from where I can control the spacecraft. Orbital sunrise, very nice, easy. Okay, let's 
rotate you around. Okay, very nice. Good. So, in 15 seconds I said, then I like to circleize the orbit of this spacecraft. And once this is done, I can start to rendezvous this spacecraft with the... Okay, we are now in an orbit with the... Immune Mining Facility Rover. But yeah, I hope we're not running out of fuel. With the upper stage, this would be bad. This would be really bad. Oh, we ran out of fuel, dang it. Okay, um... Hmm. Maybe I have to rendezvous the spacecraft with the... With the fuel delivery spacecraft, because I like to avoid having a, s a space debris problem around the moon. So I don't want to discard this, this upper stage and um, yeah, let it orbit around the moon because then I need a space debris removal spacecraft. So um, 22 by 51, all right. So let's, let's add a maneuver there so that I can lower my apoapsis and circleize the orbit. Right, this is the first thing. And then unfortunately I need to refuel this spacecraft before I can land it on the surface of the moon. Oh dear, things, things are getting more complex than I wanted. Uh, I think the, the whole moon mining operation is... Uh, well, it's, it's, it's uh, challenging, it's definitely challenging. Um, I think the, the most challenging mining operations would be of course on Ike or... Uh, not on Ike, on Eve, or the the moon of Jewel. Um, Tylo, Tylo indeed. Uh, but still, the moon the moon is challenging enough. The moon is quite challenging. Well, not because it's it's hard to land on the moon and to, to leave the moon. It's more challenging because I... Um, okay, I'm here and now you need to reduce this one uh, because there's has so much preparation involved and you need still plenty of fuel in order to get things right. So that's that's all the time challenging. All right, now we have 23 by 22. That's good enough. You are prepared. This is good. You are the immune. Okay. Well, I think over time you will catch up with this spacecraft, this is good. Let's see. What do I need to do next? Um, had I a maneuver for this spacecraft so that the spacecraft can fly out to to Minmus? I'm not quite sure. Let's let's switch to to this Supply Mark V spacecraft before I in six hours and 39 minutes. All right, I think we have plenty of time until we need to do this maneuver. Six hours, 39 minutes, this is good. All right, so this means which spacecraft do I need? I think I need uh, the rover. Let's switch back to the rover. Okay, here's the rover. Um, well, the biggest challenge is I can put this remaining fuel into... I hope this has enough fuel to... to rendezvous with the other spacecraft. So, um, fuel delivery over moon ore transporter. Set as target. We have an inclination. We can start to fix it. This is the ascending node, so we need to burn... We need to burn anti-normal. Control from here. Right. Let's start work on the inclination. Good. All right. Have to continue over there again. Then, how many orbits do I need in order to rendezvous with you? 
there would be on the opposite side of the moon. Um, getting closer. Oh, there we are pretty close. So in about one hour and 50 minutes. That's good. That's very good. All right. So let's let's fix the inclination at first. And then I can find out when I need to perform the next maneuver in order to rendezvous with the with the ore transporter to get this holding tank. It's also very nice that since my, my satellite is working. The satellite is working as intended. That's pretty good. All right. No, wait, what? Oh, we are now in the, at the descending node. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I don't want to to increase the inclination. I wanted to reduce it. All right, that's much better. And stop. All right, good. So let's see. I like to rendezvous with this spacecraft down there. So let's add an orbit to it. There we are already pretty close. This is good. I just need to be here. Oh no. Are we then in the shadow of the moon? This would be sad. A separation of 900 meters. And this is a separation of 400 meters. All right. Coming up in one hour and 44 minutes. All right. We have the first. We have the first maneuver. Moon base rover lander. Indeed, let's switch back to you to find out when we need to do something with you. Oh, we already had to do something with you. I totally forgot about this. So we missed our we missed our maneuver by seven hours and forty six minutes. Dang it! Dang it! I already had a maneuver prepared for this. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. You need to raise your altitude. All right, this is good. Now let's really. Okay, this is taking a lot of time. 13 hours. 13 hours to get back there. Now this is this is not. This is definitely not. The way to go. All right, let's let's analyze this. You are here, and the fuel delivery spacecraft is down there. When I raise the orbit, then it well, it would waste some fuel, but I think this is this is faster. All right. Let's raise the orbit to um thirty to forty kilometers. Right. Oh, wait, can we can we maybe get forty kilometers? Um, are we lucky and we can get a rendezvous or so? Let's see at maneuver. Okay, then we would get pretty close in. In around. Three or seventeen minutes. Hmm, this would be interesting. But no, I think I will now fly out to the apoapsis. Oh dear, this is things. Things are getting complex. Things are getting really complex. I I haven't planned for this. I definitely haven't planned for this. Oh, oh dear. Okay, okay, okay. Too many spacecraft. Too many spacecraft. Too many missions at once. Well, that's never good. All right, let's let's brute force this. Because I don't want to wait 13 hours or three hours or so. I want to to get this done a little bit faster. Okay. So now I just like to raise the the orbit a bit so that the other spacecraft can catch up with us. Okay. And stop. So let's let's see. When do I need to? To get down again so that I can rendezvous with the Okay, then we're already getting closer. Oh yes, oh yes. This is definitely making things faster. One hour and nine minutes. 
400 meters. Are both spacecraft now arriving at the same time? Are both spacecraft now having the, <laughs> the maneuver at the exact same time? Am I that good that I once again have all the all the maneuvers taking place at the exact same same time? All right, um, let's check this. We have one hour and eight minutes here. I really need this add-on this that shows me the 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 alarm clock or however the thing is called because things things are complex. One hour and eight minutes and one hour and twenty minutes. All right. At least at least 12 minutes 12 minutes time to to get things right this is good all right so let's switch back to you and do a quick time warp okay I can do only one hard time but that's good okay okay so let's Let's think about this. We will, in 40 minutes, we will execute this maneuver. Then this spacecraft, the lander that will be used to land the rover on the surface, can be refueled and prepared for the landing. 12 minutes after this maneuver, the rover will start to approach the moon or transporter in order to get the in order to get the small holding tank, then basically both spacecraft need to rendezvous with the fuel delivery spacecraft to get dock with the with the lander and to get some fuel. Okay, and then we can start to land down here. Um, luckily, the the mining facility is still in the shadow. This is good because so we have plenty of time to to complete all this this craziness. Okay, you will rendezvous in 17 minutes. Okay, 17 minutes. This means I have enough time to complete this maneuver over here. 10 minutes. Yes. Okay. And all the spacecraft are low on fuel. Oh man. Why? Why is this happening to me? Okay, one minute. A few seconds. Okay, um, am I still controlling from the right device? Control from here? No, I wasn't. Of course, I wasn't. I don't know what is going wrong with this, that it's always forgetting what probe core I'm using. Alright, so you are now rendezvousing in the shadow, which is set in. 21 minutes. All right, maneuver here. This means I can now go back to the moon base rover lander. Indeed. You have five minutes. Five minutes to go. This is good. You are pretty much spot on, only 10 kilometers away. Very nice. Four, three, two, one easy all right let's reduce a bit our velocity make sure that we arrive more or less spot on good okay three minutes 200 meters away this is good it's pretty awesome. All right. Easy. Now I need to slow down. Very good. Okay, I need to fly. I need to fly. Where do I need to fly? No, no, not this way. I need to get somewhere around there. All right. Wow, this is this is a high speed. That's a high speed rendezvous and docking maneuver. Wow. All right. That's 
That's skill or <laughs> so, or basically just luck. I guess it's 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 just luck. So let's let's see. Can I set you as my docking point? Okay. Why is this why is this so di difficult now? Why is this so difficult to find uh, this, this docking port there? Hmm. Okay. Anyway, so I need to do what? I need to aim for the spacecraft. I think I can hopefully select the docking port once I'm closer to it. And RCS on. So let's. Let's approach the spacecraft. Okay, can I now? Yes, no, no, no. Yes, you. Set as target. All right, perfect. Okay. Yeah, orbital ballet. Orbital ballet, indeed. Who? wow. This is... This is crazy. Okay, easy, 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 easy. Nice. Okay, awesome, awesome. You have arrived. This is good. You are empty, which is, of course, not that good. So let's transfer all the fuel. And yeah, with this, we are at the end of this crazy episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I hope you will be joining me in the next episode when we continue with this, when we continue with the crazy preparations for the landing of the two spacecraft. And next up will be the rendezvous with the uh, between the Muon Ore Transporter and the rover. Then we need to fly both spacecraft over here to supply them with some fuel. And um, we need to dock this spacecraft to the rover. And then I think we are ready. We are ready for the landings. So in this case, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. Until then, my name is Abby. See you.